If God is bringing you to perfection, to development, to maturity as a church, we have to move to maturity in us. Or you can't preach it. If you preach it without that movement in you, you're a Pharisee. Jesus says you proclaim, you say, but you do not do. We have proclamation, but no implementation. So we're reconnecting those things very strong. These are very strong things in the culture and in the functionality of Congress WBN. Now, when we declare something into the hearts of the saints, you have to be processing that on an individual, personal, family level on the inside of you. Otherwise, you have no right to stand and proclaim. And it's a very simple thing to do in that what you say must be processing in you. Amen. And that gives you the power of impartation. Impartation is the transfer of heavenly substances from an invisible realm your eyes can't see into a time-based realm in which we live. Like, that's an impartation. Divine energy comes from another realm and fills our life. And when the anointing, if you want to call it, grace, whatever word you want to give to it, it all describes an invisible divine substance that when it comes into a time-based realm, changes us.